video is going to help you with adding and subtracting mixed numbers with the same denominator. So I'm going to show you three methods for adding and for subtracting them. The first one's called improper presto changeo, at least that's what I'm calling it. So what you're going to need to do is change both mixed numbers to an improper fraction. That's what we're doing first. So the first thing I know is denominators don't do diddly. So both of them have fours for denominators, so I know it's going to end up with a four. I start here and I'm going this way. I take 4 times 4, 16, 16 plus 3 is 19. So 4 and 3 fourths is really 19 fourths. I'm adding. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. And now I take my two fractions that are improper and add them together. 19 fourths plus 11 fourths equals 30 fourths. Now, since I'm trying to get back to a mixed number, I'm going to take this and divide it. How many 4s in 30? There's 7. 7 times 4 is 28. When I subtract, I got a remainder of 2. Remember, this 4 is coming over here underneath there. So this really equals 7 and 2 4s. For my friends who know that I could simplify that a little more by dividing my fraction by 2, I end up with 7 and a half. So that's the improper presto change. I would change them to improper fractions, add them, then change them back to a mixed number. I know it seems like a lot of work, but it's going to work every day, even when our denominator is about the same. The next method is pictures. So I see I have four and three fourths. So I'm going to start by shading in my four and three fourths. I'm not shading all the way, just to save a little bit of time. So there's my four whole ones and three fourths of one. I'm going to switch colors. I also have 2 and 3 fourths. So here's my 2 and 3 fourths. Shade in 2 whole ones. There's my whole one, my 2 whole ones, and 3 fourths of one. Now, since I want to add these together, the first thing I want to do is see if I can group any pieces of the pie together to make a whole one. So I know if I take one piece from this one right here, and I bring it up here, that now makes a whole one. So this is really gone now. I don't see another place where I can make a whole one. So I'm going to count up how many whole pieces I have. I'm going to circle all the whole ones. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven whole ones. And my fraction of one is two fourths. And like I said on the page before, my friends who know how to simplify know that's seven and a half. Here is a third method that you could try. This would be regrouping. I usually like to write them vertically for this. Four and three fourths plus two and three fourths. It's sort of like when I added something with like 23 plus 39. I added my ones before my tens. So I'm going to add my fraction part before I add my whole number. So three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths thing about six fourths is that's over a whole one. I just need four fourths for a whole one. So I'm going to take off four of these fourths and put it up here as one whole one, which would leave me two fourths. And now when I add up this column, I got one plus four is five plus two more is seven. Seven and two fourths, which also gives me seven and a half. Some people just like to add and go, let me add my whole parts. Four plus two is six. Let me add my fraction parts. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 6 fourths. And then they look at it and go, okay, the 6 fourths, I need to change that because it's improper. And 4 goes into 6 one time. It's a remainder of 2. Oh, so this part right here is really 1 and 2 fourths. So I got 6 plus 1 and 2 fourths. And again, it equals 7 and 2 fourths, which is really 7 and a half. All of those methods that I've shown will work, but like I said, the one with the improper presto changeo will work every time. So here's one for you to try out. My denominator is going to be fours. Times four is 40, plus two, 42 fours. Put it in a plus. Five times four is 20, plus three is 23 fours. If I add them together, I'm at 65 fours. 5 divided by 4 is 1 times 6. 8 times 5 is 
six times. 16 remainder one, which is really 16 and one fourth. Because denominators don't do deadly, so I better end up with fourths again. Give you one more of the addition ones to try out. My denominator is going to be eighths. One times eight's eight, plus seven gets me to 15. One times eight's eight, plus six gets me to 14. 15 plus 14 is 29 eighths. 29 divided by eight, three times. Three times eight's 24. Subtract, I get five. Three remainder five. So it equals three and five eighths. All right, let's move to some subtraction ones. I'm going to show you the same kind of ways. It's going to change up just a little bit on the picture and on the regrouping one. The improper ch presto changer one basically is the same thing that we just did a while ago. Now oh, I put my denominator on top of both of them. Let's try it again. Denominator goes on the bottom. I know it's going to be ace because they don't do diddly. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 3 gets me 35. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. So notice even though this is a minus sign in here, it did not have anything to do with changing the two numbers. What it's going to affect is now that I have my two improper fractions, 35 eighths minus 22 eighths, I'm going to subtract them instead of adding, which is going to get me 13 eighths. 13 divided by 8, it goes one time. Got a remainder of 5, so it equals 1 and 5 eighths. Let's try the picture method out. So I need 4 and 3 eighths to start with. 3, 4, that's going to be my part of 1. I'm cutting them in 2 eighths. I'm trying to make my pieces even as I can. Alright, put something in there so I know these are whole ones. There's one whole one. Two whole ones. Three whole ones, four whole ones, and three eighths of one. Switch colors, and then I'm subtracting two and six eighths. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of two whole pizzas. They're gone. And then I need to get rid of six eighths. So there's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths gone. Now I just count what's left. I have one whole one there. And my fraction one is one, two, three, four, five, five eighths. So I have one and five eighths. The regrouping method gets kind of weird for some people here. I have four and three eighths minus two and six eighths. Notice I called it regrouping instead of borrowing because I think we get used to that. We go borrow 10 every time. We just put a 1 in front of your number. We're kind of doing regrouping. I cannot subtract 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. So the neighbor is going over to borrow from his neighbor. I'm going to do some regrouping. He's taking a whole one. So I had four whole ones there. There would now be three whole ones left. What the person borrowed is a whole one. But I need it to be an eighth because that's what my denominator is. So one whole is also eight eighths. That's how much I borrowed. I already had three eighths. So eight eighths plus three eighths is eleven eighths. I know that looks confusing for some people, but we do the same thing all the time when we're doing um, feet and inches. So if I have four feet, one inch. Minus 2 feet, 7 inches. I do the same thing. I can't do 1 inch minus 7 inches. So I go trade one of my feet in. And how many inches would I get for that foot? 12. Plus I already had one there, so that would be 13. It's the same kind of thing. I'm regrouping. I'm trading. So back over here to my original problem. 11 eighths minus 6 eighths is 5 eighths. 3 minus 2 is 1. And I'm pretty sure if I back up the screen before, that's exactly what we got with the picture. That's exactly what we got with the improper presto change-up. Alright. 
try one here for you. Let's go to knights. Let's do something besides the eighth. So I know my denominator is going to be knights. Multiply. Six times nine is 54. Plus two is 56. Remember, I'm subtracting. Nine times three is 27. Plus seven more is 34. 56 minus 34. If you can't do that in your head, that's fine. Just take the time to work it out. So I'm at 22 ninths. And I divide that one out. It goes two times. Two times nine is 18. When I subtract, I got four. Two remainder four, so it equals two and four ninths. Um, before I end it, I'm going to show you a fast way just to check to see if your answer is reasonable. If I cover up this fraction part and I just go, oh, I've got 6 minus 3, which equals 3, is my answer close to 3? 2 and 4 ninths, that's pretty close. Let's go back a couple, check one of these out. If I get rid of the fraction part, I just have 4 minus 2, which equals 2, and my answer was 1 and 5 eighths. That's pretty close. Let's go to an addition one. So over here, if I just mark those two out, I'm left with one plus one, so my answer should be fairly close to two. And that's three and five eighths. That seems reasonable. Mark this part out. Ten plus five is fifteen. And now I'm at sixteen and a fourth. Very reasonable. So hopefully this will help you with adding and subtracting mixed numbers with the same denominator.